Happy holidays, everyone. This is Ashley Bornanson with Red Carpet Report. Tonight, we're in Hollywood at the 82nd annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. The show gets bigger and better every year. More stars, bigger performances. Today, we're supposed to be seeing the Goo Goo Dolls, Billy Ray Cyrus, Leanne Rhyme, Stevie Wonder, and a lot of other performances. Millions of people are expected to be attending today. We've got people already lined up on Hollywood Boulevard, camped out with their chairs, their cameras. They are ready to see their stars in action. Let's go see who we can talk to. Yeah. You mind talking up for me? Oh, thank you. My name's Ashley. Ashley. Nice to meet you. you. Good to meet you as well. I'm liking the sweater tonight. Thank you very much. It was a very difficult decision. I couldn't find anything. And I just said, you know, I wish I had a white sweater. And Rebecca and Staub, who's also my, uh, who's, who's my girlfriend and an actress, she kind of had this little grin on her face. And about 10 minutes later, she came back and she goes, here's an early Christmas gift. So I was like, oh, great. I've got something to wear. She knows you very well. Yeah, so it was perfect. I was like, God, oh, that's what I really need for tonight so I can look like a snowflake. <laughs> You have such a crazy busy schedule. What is your downtime? Is tonight basically your only day off? No, well, we had a week off for uh, Thanksgiving, but uh, I worked on NCIS last week, did a guest star on that. So uh, I've just been kind of studying this week. I, I try to study for a couple hours a day because I have a big week next week. So I, if I time manage well, then I've got some time to myself instead of trying to cram it all in at 11 o'clock at night. You just kind of have to spread it out evenly. Yeah, I've been told that working on a soap opera is like working at theater with a gun to your head because you have to go so fast. It is, it is, especially now. I think uh, a few years ago, uh, I was doing primetime for a few years, but back in 2006, uh, 2007, I did uh, Bold and the Beautiful, and then 2003, 2004, I did All My Children. And it was already a crazy pace back then, uh, but we only did really one episode a day. Now we're doing, you know, I mean, I have three episodes on Tuesday, so, you know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot now. We try to cram more into less. I mean, that's got to be hard, especially with your mentality, because you have to be in different points of the scripts at different times, right? Yeah, they do a good job of putting stuff in order for us and... Um, you know, we're, we don't have to shuffle back and forth between six scripts. It's all, you know, together, and they only give us our material, so we don't have everybody else's material to go through, so it makes it a little bit easier. What is the key to learning your lines so quickly? I've pretty much got it down scientifically to uh, about an hour and a half for every 10 pages I kind of need. So... That's but, so quick. Yeah, it is quick, but, you know, once you know your character, um, and... Uh, it, it just seems to go a little bit quicker, yeah. So wow. and you, figure it out. You, you, you just start retaining more. Okay. And your practice, you know, offset is it? Are you just playing around? Or are you in your own imaginary world by yourself, or do you usually like to run I lines? I will with use people? my phone. I'll record the other person's lines into my phone. But what I do generally to uh, my technique is to write my intentions down and my objectives in the scene on the page. And the more notes I give to myself, the more I start to remember what I'm doing in the scene. And then it helps me remember my lines. So I'll actually make notes about what I'm doing in the scene and what I want out of that scene. And it helps me remember my lines. So by the time I actually start to memorize my line, I'm almost halfway there. So there's a, there's a, there's a way to help yourself get there quicker. Yeah. Do you have any... Um kind of moment that sticks out to you in all of your time being on soaps like oh this was really awkward or that was a really passionate kiss uh no not really i i, I can't say that i do i mean uh, all my daytime kisses have been memorable i've all i've been very lucky to have some really great leading ladies um you know i i i had a great time with alicia Minshew on all my children so if alicia sees this hello alicia we miss you and uh, you know, it's just a, it's just fun. I mean, daytime, it is what it is. It's you've got some loyal, passionate fans, and um, you know they love their drama and they yeah. love their guys to take off their shirts. And if they can act, yeah. that's bonus. So yeah, moms love you uh, on TV. Well, it used to be my sister love you. Now, now it's my mother loves you. No, I'm just thinking. Well, my mom, my as a five-year-old child, I kid you not, I was not allowed to watch children's stuff. I had to watch soap operas, so I grew up with Guiding Light, Bold and Beautiful, and all that stuff. So I like, I knew about sex before anyone else did. <laughs> well, that's I never had to have the covers. <laughs> that's good though, right? Depending on who you are. 
I mean, no, that's all right, because then you're like, that's okay, I know what it is, I'm not that curious, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much, have a nice night, William. Thanks for watching, guys, we had so much fun in Hollywood tonight. Leave me a comment below telling me what's on your Christmas list. Like the video, subscribe, we'll see you next time.